What's up guys, it's Woof Woof Wolf. Welcome back to Clone of the Week. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. And without further ado, your Clone of the Week is Sergeant Boomer. What exactly are we supposed to be looking for on this patrol, Captain? Droids, separatists, smugglers, wild animals, pretty much anything that wants to kill us. Ah, just the usual then. On your feet. I'm going to release the link on your binders. But if you try anything funny, I blow you to pieces. If those droids get near my crate, I blow you to pieces. If you try to shoot me... You blow us to pieces, we get the picture. CS-2207 was an advanced recon force trooper in the 501st Battalion. After the liberation of the city of Lasu during the Battle of Ryloth, Boomer, along with Captain Rex, went on an ATRT night patrol around the city of Resden. The pair of clones eliminated a large number of battle droids, but were ambushed and taken captives by bounty hunter Cad Bane. Bane needed the clones alive to help him protect the Separatist superweapon from the battle droids ordered to steal it back. He had attached explosives to the clones' binders and promised to let them go if they cooperated with him. Rex and Boomer had no choice but to agree. They defeated several waves of droids until Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker and his Padawan Ahsoka Tano arrived to help following Rex's signal. The Jedi managed to capture the Duros and ordered Boomer and Rex to disarm him. Forcing Bane to cooperate in turn, the Jedi and the clone troopers decided to use his transport, the sleight of hand. Bane was forced to carry the weapon to the ship, while the Jedi guarded him and Rex and Boomer went ahead to clear the way for them. At the ship, the Jedi were ambushed by the Skakoan Kul Teska, the creator of the gravity weapon, and a fight ensued, in which the Jedi were at a disadvantage until Rex and Boomer arrived for help. The clones used their weaponry against Tesca, and he was forced to retreat in Bane's transport, taking the gravity weapon and Bane himself with him. Eventually, the Jedi sabotaged Tesca and Dooku's plan to destroy the Naboo star system, and it was presumed that Boomer continued to serve with the 501st. Perhaps he partook at the Battle of Umbara in Kiros. Now for a quick message. Thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Surfshark VPN is offering you guys 83% off and one extra free month by using code WOOF at https surfshark.deals slash WOOF. A VPN or virtual private network is a privacy protection tool which guarantees instant online safety. Surfshark encrypts all the data sent via the internet so that no one can see your passwords, private messages, steal photos, videos, sensitive data, or know what you're doing online. You can also change which country you're accessing the internet from to access and unblock content. I know a lot of you want to watch The Clone Wars, but don't have Disney Plus in your country. And even though Disney Plus launched in Europe for many of you on March 24th, the Mandalorian episodes roll out one week at a time. You can use Surfshark to change your location to USA and binge them instantly. And there's no need to miss your favorite shows when you have travel, just because they're only available back home. Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account to use on an unlimited number of devices. Use my code WOOF to get 83% off plus one extra month for free. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's absolutely no risk to try it out for yourself. Link is in the description below. Visit surfshark.deals WOOF. Now back to the video. Sergeant Boomer was an original character from the video game Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic of Heroes, which came out in 2009 when I was about 10 years old. I remember loving this game because you could play as Captain Rex, Commander Cody, Bly, Gree, Pawns, and the Jedi from the Clone Wars TV show. Although, it has horrendous reviews, and looking back, it was a pretty janky game. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Nominate your next clone of choice in the comments below. And I totally expect a multitude of OK Boomer comments in the section below. This is Wolf signing off, and as always, woof, woof.